Good afternoon everyone. Today I am here in front of you to brief you all about the topic ISRO. ISRO is also known as the Pride of India. It basically stands for Indian Space Research Organization. It was inaugurated in 1969. Its headquarter is located in the city of Bangalore and Dr. S. Somanath is the current chairman of ISRO. Now coming to the major field of excellence the ISRO has done over the years. First of all is it is well known for conducting its projects single-handedly in a very least expensive manner because it promotes its indi indigenous equipments and products and thus promoting the idea of making India. It has done a lot of uh, a lot of good achievements uh, in the field of remote sensing, communication and the overall growth of our country in terms of science. And other thing is that what are the major projects that ISTRO has conducted successfully in its past. First of all is the Chandrayaan 1. By collaborating with the Institute of NASA, it was able to discover the water molecule on the surface of moon, which is one of the biggest discovery ever done uh, by any institute on, uh, on the surface of moon. And second thing is the Chandrayaan 2. Although it was not successful full phasedly, but has been able to done uh, its 80% of full job. Now coming to the third one, that is the Mars mission. Whole world was astonished by seeing the success of ISRO when it was able to send its first ever satellite to Mars and in a very least expensive manner, it was it accomplished its work full fledgedly. Coming to the other thing, India when uh, launched 104 satellite on the Earth's atmosphere by only one rocket in only one go by the help of PSLB. And another thing is by 2030, India is going to develop its own space station which would be the most expensive project done by India ever. Now coming to the other thing, that is what is the major problem the ISRO and the other science institute of India is facing. First of all, the concept of brain drain. Lot of good candidates, potential candidates are leaving India and going to other countries and contributing them. It is not that if we are able to uh, eradicate it, the ISRO and other institute of science and other field will be able to do lot of things in its full potential and other and another thing is people are not well aware and not well educated about the science thus not able to enjoy the success of the institutes like ISRO. Now coming to the solution part as I said earlier by eradicating, eradicating brain drain improving the education system of India and promoting practical knowledges would be very much fruitful and act like a panacea to eradicate, eradicate each and every pro problem related to the field of science and uh, hurdle. Now coming to the future, ISRO do have lot of potential and by collaborating with other countries, it is learning new thing and it's going to mis is going to prosper further in the future. Thank you.